There's been a lot of talk about this guy in West Australia who's been fired for avoiding being tracked by his employer by hiding his phone. Well, it was actually a, a special PDA thing, but he hid it in a foil package to prevent the radiation from the phone getting out, so there's no signal. It's called the Faraday cage. So I've decided to try this out. Um, uh, instead of twisties, I've, I've liberated a bit of chocolate, uh, and I'll have to deal with that later. But um, let's just give this a whirl. Pop the phone into the foil. No bits of chocolate get stuck in the uh, in the earphone jack. That could be awkward. All right, so we've got our phone here, and I've stolen my wife's phone. And I'll see if I can remember the code. Oh, that's wrong. That's bad. Ah, there we go. Okay, give the phone a call. Nothing. How about that? It really does work. Straight to voicemail. So there you go. All you need is a little bit of chocolate wrapper. Now, there's another Faraday cage in your kitchen as well, and that's this thing here, the microwave. Now that is a Faraday cage, it's kind of operating in reverse because instead of stopping radiation getting in, it stops the, the microwaves from getting out. Same principle. So, let's chuck this in here and uh, give it another whirl. It's a good way of testing if your microwave is leaking. Okay, here we go again. Oh, it's ringing. Uh-oh. So what does that tell us? So uh, it seems that radiation does get into and therefore could get out of the microwave. Except one thing, is it the same radiation that's going into the microwave? So your microwaves are at 2.4 gigahertz. And I looked up all the frequencies of Australian uh, mobile phone signal, and there's actually a big range of them. The highest frequencies is around 2.6 gigahertz, so they would have a shorter wavelength than microwaves, but some of them have longer, so they're down to 800 megahertz, I think. So that's gonna give us a wavelength of 40 centimeters. And that's enough for maybe some of it to leak through. It's called evanescent radiation. So the wave gets to the metallic mesh and just a little bit of it will leak through and die away. So right up against the edge of the Faraday cage, you'll get a little bit of radiation. If it's 35 centimeters, it might be enough for it to penetrate through, or it's possible my microwave just leaks. And every time I cook food, I'm slightly cooking myself. My wife's making a very strange face. It's not actually a big problem because microwaves far less energy than normal light from the sun. Definitely a lot less than UV, can't break bonds, just warms you up a bit. I'm actually not that scared. Build up on science.